Hello everyone, happy Friday, and welcome to this week's edition of the Friday Five. I was speaking on, uh, to a lady on the train recently, and she was asking me about my trip, I'm eight months in and whatnot, and she kept saying how travel is so glamorous and exciting, which, which it very much is. I mean, you're in different places all the time, and seeing lots of exciting sights, trying different foods, but we kept talking, and... I realized that there's some not so glamorous parts of traveling and backpacking specifically, things that quite honestly I could do without. So I thought this Friday I would give you a list of five of those not so glamorous things uh, that you should maybe be prepared for if you set out on a journey like this. So here we go. Bye. Getting scammed. I'm always worried and I know it's happening that I'm getting scammed whether it's being in a touristy restaurant paying way more for food that quite honestly is crap um, or crossing a border and having to pay a bribe um, or paying way too much for stuff in a market it's something you have to accept and do just do your best to avoid it happening to you Boom! not being able to see and talk uh, with your family and friends it's, I mean, I miss, you know, getting coffee and talking about life and all that kind of stuff, but when you're frustrated, when things aren't working out, um, when you're not quite sure what you should do, or even you're enjoying something and, you know, you want to reflect on it with someone else, uh, a family member or a, a good friend of yours, being out traveling without your friends and family uh, can be a bit almost lonely sometimes because you want to share those experiences with them and they're way back home, uh, unable to be there in person to share it with. Three! Travel can be exhausting. I mean, you think of it as a vacation. I've heard that a million times. Oh, you're on such a big vacation. It's not a vacation. I mean, there's so many things that you have to do constantly. Travel days, for one. I mean, you can spend an entire day on buses and trains and rickshaws and whatnot, just trying to get from point A to point B. Uh, you're always, you can usually be in different languages. I've, seven months, I haven't been in an English-speaking country. So everything I read is in a different language, and you have to process that and figure out where you're going. And then you get to a town, you've been traveling all day, and you have to find a hostel. And all you want to do is sleep or have a shower. But no, you have to find a place to do all of those things. So while it can be relaxing, depending on where you are and what you're doing, there's a lot of exhausting aspects uh, to travel that can kind of take a toll on you. So it's important, just as a side note, to find time to rest up so that you can enjoy what you're doing. Two! Frankly, I could, at this point, do without the lack of comforts of home. Um, in the beginning, it was exciting to, you know, you live out of a bag and you only have a few outfits and you're washing your clothes in the sink. That wears off after a while. I mean, I've been wearing the exact same three or four outfits for eight months. I have every piece of clothing I left with. <laughs> and you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, what should I wear? It's one of those three things. I don't need a lot of clothes, but it'd be nice to mix up every now and then. Um, the comforts of sleeping in the same bed every night, uh, washing, washing your clothes um, somewhere you're familiar with, being able to cook your own meals, uh, those comforts from home would be nice uh, to have, and so after a while of not having them, it starts to wear on you a bit. Wow! And probably one of the things I really could do without uh, most on this trip is saying goodbye, especially when you've been traveling for a very long time. Um, I've, fortunately or not fortunately enough, um, have traveled with a lot of people whether they're at the end of their trip or they're continuing on and you've had to say goodbye, um, or you stay with people who treat you like gold as if, you know, you are just part of the family. Um, and saying goodbye to those people can be very tricky. I had to say goodbye to a good friend today. And um, it just, it can be really, really tough. And uh, because, you know, you meet lots of great people when you travel, but there's sometimes, you know, you meet someone and you have a great journey together and you see lots of great things, um, but 
maybe you will never see them again. And that's, uh, I didn't expect that when I went out to travel. I, I didn't even see that one coming in. So I had to almost teach myself um, not to get <laughs> um, a bit choked up every time you say goodbye to someone, because you'd be crying all the time. Um, so I guess you have to just be f thankful for the time you spend with those people and uh, hope that you see them again. So if I could, I would, uh, I would take out the saying goodbye part, because I just, I don't like goodbyes. And there you have it, yet another Friday Five. Five things that make backpacking a little less glamorous. I think, just going back to it, the saying goodbye part um, really is the biggest of them all. I, I could do with all the rest of them, you know, whatever. You're wearing the same clothes all the time, or you are tired and whatnot. But, yeah, just saying farewell to people is just tricky. I, I actually don't like that part about backpacking, because when will you see them again? It's, it's, it's very strange having friends all over the world. But hopefully, if you're going to head out to travel, this will prepare you a little bit more. And we'll see you next Friday. Take care.